Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on circle sectors and arcs. So in this video we're going to be covering a couple of key formulas uh, that help you calculate the area of a sector and the length of an arc. So first of all, uh, let's look at the area of a sector. And to do this, let's first of all remind ourselves that the area of a circle is pi r squared. Now that's going to be useful to us uh, because if you imagine this sector here as a fraction of a circle with the same radius, uh, 12 centimeters in this case, well, we know that the angle in a circle is 360 degrees, uh, but the angle in this sector is 82 degrees. So uh, the fraction of the circle taken up by this sector, if you like, is going to be 82 divided by 360. And then if we times this by the area, that will give us the value of the area of the sector. So uh, let's do this now. So 82 divided by 360 times pi times r squared, which is 12 squared. Uh, so let's plug all of that into a calculator. So 82 divided by 360 equals 41 over 180 is what that cancels down to. And we'll times that by pi, and then we'll times that by the radius 12 squared. And if we plug all of that in, that gives us a value of 103.04. So 103.04 centimeters squared uh, for the area of the sector. So next, let's look at how to calculate the arc length. Uh, so the arc is this line here, drawn in red. Um, and let's use the same logic. Um, so let's just draw the complete circle here with the same radius. Uh, which in this case is nine centimeters. So if we wanted to calculate the circumference of the circle, we'd use the formula circumference equals pi times d. Uh, so d is the diameter, which is the straight line across the center of the circle. Uh, so if the radius is nine, then the diameter would be 18 centimeters. Um, and then let's just use the same logic as before. Uh, so this arc, uh, let's use a blue pen to, to draw over it. Uh, that will be uh, as a fraction of the circumference 118 divided by 360 uh, and then let's times that by the actual circumference which is pi d uh, so if we bring that down onto the next line 118 divided by 360 times pi times 18 and that gives us a value if we plug that into the calculator 118 divided by 360 times pi times sorry times 18 equals 18.54 so 18.54 centimeters and that is the length of the arc uh, so let's have a look at a quick example question now so the sector of a circle with center c is shown calculate the area of the sector and the arc length to one decimal place uh, so first of all, let's just calculate the area. So the area of a sector, as we've just seen, is the angle, which in this case is 120, that's this angle here, uh, divided by 360. So if you imagine the whole circle, that angle will be 360 degrees. Uh, and then we times that by the area of the full circle. Uh, so the area of the full circle will be pi r squared. R in this case is eight centimeters. So times pi, times eight squared uh, and that gives us a value if we plug it into the calculator so 120 divided by 360 times pi times eight squared and that gives us a value of 67.0 to one decimal place so 67.0 okay next let's calculate the arc length so let's change the color to blue here just for clarity so the arc length uh, equals 120 divided by 360 uh, and this time we're timesing it by the uh, calculation that we would use to work out the circumference of the full circle uh, so that would be pi times diameter if the radius equals 8 then the diameter equals 16 so uh, pi times diameter is pi times 16 and if we plug that into the calculator 120 divided by 360 times pi times 16 that gives us a value of 
0.75 or 76 sorry or to one decimal place 16.8 centimeters and I should have said sorry that the area of the sector is given in centimeters squared uh, because the value of the radius is given in centimeters if you'd like to see some more exam style questions on this topic uh, then you can visit our online exam on circles sectors and arcs uh, you'll find a variety of different questions there's plenty of questions to get some practice on and you will get instant feedback on each and every one of them uh, so this will be really useful if you want to find some areas that you need to improve on uh, if you're interested and you want to take the exam then click the link below